To create a set, type SET from the main menu, then give it a name. You can name it anything you would like. Answer yes for your new name. Now you will see your new name, and you have two more options. You can associate this to a ward and give it a full name, but this is not necessary, it's optional. Now you can add your order types. In this case we're going to add three labs. I'm going to use defaults of routine and a duration of one time. And I'm going to repeat this process until I have all the orders that I would like to have in my set. This does not mean I must use an order type of lab. I can use any type of order type that I would like to use. As we're entering these orders, it's important to remember the inpatient environment is where this is going to be really beneficial to you. In an outpatient environment, you'd probably want to build an order set in Alta. And I can uh, bring out a video on that very soon here. But uh, the inpatient arena is where this is going to really give you your bang for your buck. Once we've entered our last lab, we're going to want to just hit Enter when prompted. Then you're going to see all the labs and you're going to want to type Q for quit for the action as you would with a normal order. Now to test this we can go into ORE and we can type in a patient name and take a look and see if our order set is actually there. Once we have our patient information for the action, of course, we'll type N as we normally would. For the order type, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to type SET. And we should now see all the orders that are available to us. We can select those by simply using the end key or the F11 key to select all of the orders at once. And that's how simple it is to do an order set. Thank you for watching. If you need any further assistance, feel free to contact us at 590-4949.